What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. We've got a new Baja Designs lighting modification. But before we get into that, let me give you guys a walk around of my Tacoma. This is my 2020 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. I put a TRD Pro grill in there. A little tricolor bats, a Raptor lights, Baja Design ditch lights, Prinzu roof rack, Heretic 40 inch light bar. I've got Icon Stage 6, sorry if you can't see that, still custom series wheels, Yokohama Geolander 285s, and that whole setup's 285, 75R16s, and then some smoke tail lights, a uh, little badge inserts right there, or Tacoma inserts. So if you didn't know, the stock fog lights on the 2020 Tacoma are actually LED. However, I've been wanting to change them out just to match the amber of the ditch lights I have up there. So these are the Baja Designs Sports, and these ones are not the street legal ones. So I will not be using these when I'm driving on the street. It should be a very simple application, more of a, actually it is just a plug and play, maybe a couple screws, but you can see the adapter right there. Just going to plug into my wiring already that is powering up these. What you'll get in your box with the fog lights is this little instruction kit for a Tacoma and Forerunner. Pretty much breaks it down very well. Baja is really good at giving some thorough instructions. Uh, you got your little registration card to register your products, some brackets, and then some more harnesses right here. Two of them and a sticker down there. As I mentioned, these are not SAE street legal approved. They do have um, these amber and white lens that are SAE approved. Now these ones not being street legal have 3,150 lumens. The street legal ones have about 2,000, I think 2,400 or so. And then they're a little bit more. I think they're about 80 to hundred dollars more than the ones that are not street legal. So to make it easier to access the um, stock fog light, it's gonna be right behind here. So what I did was I turned my driver's side wheel Oh, I guess towards the driver's side more. That way I've got a little bit more room to work with because I do have bigger tires. So this should definitely give me enough room to be able to reach. Oh yeah, more than enough room to be able to reach in there and then take out the stock one and then put in these nice Baja design ones. Quick update, if you're a returning subscriber or if you're just wondering if I, if I rub it all with my 285 wheels or tires and then my Icon suspension, I do. You can see it's all chopped up here. However, I'm on full turn right now and you can see I've got a little bit of room. But imagine off-roading. Any bump I hit, it's just grinding against here, which isn't too bad. It's scary on the pinch wheel, though, so I need to get that figured out pretty soon, get that knocked back. And my suspension is set to about two inches right now. I've got another three-quarters of an inch to work with, so I will be adjusting this. I just need to find out how I'm going to do that on my own because I don't have a lift yet. So I'll be definitely purchasing one in the near future. And you can see I rub all through here, even knocked off this clip. And then that clip is completely broken off as well some cracking on that fender so definitely gonna be heating some stuff up and pushing that back so that was a quick little update on my uh status for the rubbing instead of going behind the wheel well if you're tall or have long enough arms you can access your fog lights right through here uh, let me see here there it's hard to see but it's right back there so i could probably reach back there and unclip the fog light and maybe even work with the whole thing through there, but I might be going through the fender if I need to. I disconnected the, the harness to the stock fog lights by just reaching down through here, unclipped them, but to access them, I am gonna end up going through here, I believe. And then with all the, I mean, this clip is already broken just because I rubbed on it so bad. And I removed this one, that 10 millimeter one, and then to get behind it, I'll end up having to push back this fender part so it looks a little brutal um, and if I need to because in the end my front uh, bumper is going to be cut anyway so I don't really care so much about this if I need to you can see right here where it's pulling I might just cut a little slit there and have more room but I think that might be just enough room to work with where I can get the ditch light or the fog light in there and then the stock one is just right back there. So this is probably going to be really dark, but let's see if I can get this in there. There's the stock fog light right there. So that screw, I think that might be the only one we need to unscrew to get this off. Or if I could see one right over there. But that's probably about the best view I can give you guys of how the stock fog light looks and how far it is from the fender. 
Okay, I took off that one. I'm trying to angle this for you guys. That one screw. I haven't got much room to work with in here. So that one screw that was up here in the top left came out, and now we've got. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now we've got the fog light. Super easy. Super dirty. So that's what a stock 2020 Tacoma LED fog light looks like. And then there's my Baja Designs fog light. If I put this right through there, it's going to look something like that. Okay, before I get into showing you guys how to actually get the brackets onto the, the uh, fog light, you got the individual bags that I showed you with these harnesses. So here's this harness, has a little clip, and then you've got the harness attached to the fog light. Now, if you notice, there's white and black. There you go. Black's going to be your ground, white's going to be your positive. So with the harness, we're going to connect this black to that black, and then red to the white. So just make sure those are matched up. Shouldn't be hard figuring out how that goes on. So there you go. And then here's the black, here's the white, and then those will just plug right in. It's hard to tell, but there you go. Way down there, there's little little things that these just slide right into. Make sure they're lined up. And then just pushes in just like that. Okay, now that it's connected, you can see the black wire running to this black wire, and then the red is running to the white. And once it's all connected, it's pretty easy, and this will just plug right into the existing harness that went to your stock ones. And now we'll work on the brackets. Okay. Again, here's the driver's side. We've got our four millimeter screw with the locking washer. And on the driver's side, it secures on the left side of the fog light. So this bracket will sit just like that. You get your screw into there. Okay, got that side. And now if you remember in the beginning, how the right side of the fog light was just kind of nudged into this little little slot. That's what this side is for. So then we'll screw in this one with the same thing, or same uh, screw. Okay, driver's side is done. And again, black going to black on the wiring harness. Now all we'll do is use the screw from the stock fog light bracket and just use it right in the top left and then good to go. Okay, I mounted the fog light. You can see it's all good to go. Just the harness is not attached yet. You're going to notice there's a gap right here. See that gap? Some people leave it, but Baja came, uh, the little package came with these sticky things that I'm not too sure what they do. I thought it went like on this side where the, where the bracket just kind of slides into and it pushes it forward, but it hasn't done that. So I'm going to hold on to this and maybe make another video on how to get this more flush. So now, I already took out the passenger side fog light, it's just laying in there, and I'll show you guys the wiring for that. Okay, passenger side. Try to get a little more detail, because the first time around, I'm learning as well. So take out the harness, and we're gonna work with the passenger side fog light. So thicker part of the fog light goes inward towards the truck. And again, black and then white. Hopefully you can see that. And we'll put this on the same way as the other one. Okay, then the little adapter by itself. Push right on, easy peasy. And then black it goes in with black, red with red. And then once these kind of get their little part they're supposed to be in, they'll push in very easy. So it's just a matter of having to find where that opening is. And if it's not going in too easy like that, I'll just unclip it and make sure that it actually goes in these holes right here. Okay, that should be in there pretty, pretty good. Let's try this again. Okay, black and black. Okay, red's in. Now this black one needs to get in. There we go. So you can see, 
once you find that slot, it just goes in super easy. And then now we'll connect this harness to the stock harness. Any questions about this, just let me know. I know I'm not too great on the details. I'm learning just like you guys are. Now we'll go in there and mount this to the stock area. Hope you guys enjoyed that installation. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just make sure you put the ground with the ground wires and that's probably gonna be the only difficult part. Oh my gosh, there they are. During the day, working properly. I'll do a nighttime comparison as well. Show you guys how they look. Look so much better. Now they match my Baja Ditz lights. And if you have any questions, again, don't be afraid to ask. Make sure you add me on Instagram, Taco Man D 4x4. Comment back on there, reply to you guys. So any questions, let me know. See you next time.